I think uh, we just got Drew and then that's it. All right. Uh, anything you want to say to Brent, Drew? Brent, here's what I'm going to say. You know who White Earp is? Do you know who White Earp is? Oh, yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. White Do you know who White Earp is since you claim to know everything about everything? Do you know who he is? He was a real figure. Did a lot of movies about him. Kurt Russell played him. Kevin Costner yeah. played him. White Earp was a real life lawman. He hunted down scumbags, alcoholics, you name it. That's what he did. You got to put that on the goddamn. I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, yeah, people. Me. Bad people. <laughs> He was a real guy. And I'm going to say something. Take a look. I'm going to say something. Quoting Wyatt Earp. I'm going to say this. Brent, you called down the thunder. Now you got it. Anytime I see you, I'm bringing hell with me. Do you understand oh, that? <laughs> Let me tell you something. The next, what you need, I was trying to avoid this. I'm trying to be Christ-like, but you pushed it. What you need, everybody's trying to talk to you and tell you things. You're not listening. You're so pig-headed, stuck in your ideas. What you need, I'm going to tell you what you need. You need one of these across your face. That's what you need. You need one of these across your face. That's exactly what you need. And it needs to come back this way and get you. I'm tired of you. You disrespected Angel. He's not even here. You called out his name and you disrespect Francis every time she's on here. You guys don't have to get along, but you don't have to disrespect her. And back in my day where I'm from, when you disrespect somebody like that, you get a slap across your face. And you get one coming back. You get two really quick. But don't push it. Because if I ever catch you at a convention, your butt is mine. You understand that? <sighs> It's mine. If I ever catch you, it's done. You have disrespected people and you've taken things too far. Knock it off. Knock it off. Are you threatening me with violence? I'm threatening you. Yeah, it's coming. Come on, man. Don't do that. It's coming. <laughs> don't, it, it's coming. He's just talking. You better man. hope I don't ever catch you. <laughs> it's wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Henry. Um, I, you know what? I'm gonna uh, not respond to this because this is this is. Um, I know you're trying to grow your channel, but this is just. Um, All right, Brent. Take I, it if easy. I give a response to that, then I don't want to give a response to that because this is that's cr ridiculous. All what right. you're? T how, how dare you speak to me that way? Have a good night, Brent. Man, take Have your clown night. self off my channel. Oh, Go, God. God. This all right, Brent. Go, have a good night. Go man. take your five foot <laughs> self off my channel. Well, well, you know, this is technically my channel, Drew, but I you know, I know it's I your channel, but I don't want his nonsense up here, man. I'm sorry, Henry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You everybody. shouldn't be threatening people or implying threats, man. Y'all live in like the same city, you know, or close. Well, actually, proximity. I live in a different place. Yeah, I live in but, a different you know, place. From I get He's you. He's in California, right? Y'all both are so. in California. I'm no, I'm in Colorado. Oh, you in Colorado? That's where I thought you were in California. Yeah. No, I'm from there, but yeah, I'm okay. in Colorado. God so. damn, Drew, man, my grandmother is watching right now. No lie, she is. I'm sorry, Grandma. I'm sorry. He <laughs> he he pushed things too far. Let me text her like, uh, did you see what Drew said? <laughs> I'm sorry, Henry. Forgive me, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> everybody. But <laughs> like, what are you thinking, dude, man? This dude. This dude, he knows what he does. He knows what he does. He God. knows what he. He knows. Drew he knows. What danger, he Budo. <laughs> so it. Oh. I'm sick. I'm just tired of this, man. I, I I can't stand bullies, and I can't stand people that are like those little henchmen that want to be in the corner doing that little shady stuff on the side. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. No, I no. And I'm serious. When I'm for pe people, would smack the taste out of your mouth coming around trying to do that. Uh, they probably Are you serious. Would. They probably would. Yeah, but. you know they would. Come on, man. You know that people talk like him in public, walking up to somebody like saying crazy. You know, you know. Come on. Oh man. He knows that too. It's oh, just nobody's God. ever given that to him. He needs an AT and T reach out and touch you moment. That's what he needs. Oh my God. And I guarantee you, he'll stop talking crazy after that. Because he'll know if he can't back it up, something's coming. 
Y'all are y'all are Every too much, man. And how's he gonna? Oh, you threatened me. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. What are you gonna do? Go to the bathroom and cry now? I mean, come on. Whatever. Guys, this was not planned. Uh, Brent, I'm not going to put hands on you because you're not worth it. Okay? You're not yeah. worth it. You're not worth it. But I'm just <laughs> letting you know that it, one day somebody will God. because of the way you talk to people. I can't believe it. Yeah. You, you talk to ladies like this. They got husbands and stuff. <laughs> husbands not happy. What do you think he's going to do to you? If somebody talked to my wife like that, what do you think I'm going to do to him? <laughs> God. I'm going to drive down there. I'm going to find him, and it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> Henry, right or wrong? <laughs> oh my, I, hey, man, your, your wife, how, how you choose to defend her. Yeah, see, is, is that's that that's you, the man. thing. Oh man, That's the thing. So don't do it. Brent, I'm not going to put hands on you, but <laughs> one day you might find yourself in a spot. You know, David Yost may come get you something. I don't know. I just security can't. personnel teams may come and get you, and it may not be pretty. I just can't with y'all, man. Like, what the hell? This was not on my Power Ranger bingo card for the stream tonight. Hey, but he's gone, everybody, right? Well, he did, go. he's still in the back lurking, you know what I'm saying? But... He's always in the back lurking. Go tell him to sit down. Go go take your tennis racket and go sit down, little boy. Holy I shit. only deal with men. <laughs> I only deal with men. Answer, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but this is this is a black. Come on, man. I I couldn't I couldn't couldn't do it. I couldn't I couldn't do it, man. I just the uh, shit that got me is like you need one of these (laughs) across and then it needs to come back. (laughs) What the hell? Oh my god. (laughs) Yes, sir. I'll send you your punishment later for not acting like a black belt. You gotta redeem yourself. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, come I, on, man. I know. I know. I would want this when break up, but you gotta hold your tongue, brother. You gotta hold your tongue. I know. That's why I said Budo. I mean I know. What I know how much guys? I don't like Oh uh, man, Drew. Tiger. You told him I'm gonna be your Huckleberry. Come on, dude, <laughs> better. Come on, you're the balance of this channel. I know. Nice. That's, You're the I know, I know. That's, that's a tombstone one. reference. That's a tombstone reference for. Oh, I know, but still, <laughs> for the people who don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You know, he just. No, he does that, and he. You had to call a cop. He doesn't realize that like LinkedIn is a thing, right? Oh God, man! <laughs> Y'all are wild, man. Oh, I mean, that's the real truth about it. Like Drew said. Y'all should like know. you can't just go around doing that. <laughs> People do will say stuff. It does have effects on life. Oh, Drew Dervention. I like it. <laughs> Drew Dervention. Hey, Drew. And they said I was the hothead, bro. They know. You know I know. Give it, it a <laughs> man. You nah, Drew just it. told him to pick a hand. <laughs> I feel you, though. He had it coming. He'd be talking to the girls crazy. That's the point. Did, and Drew does make a point. <laughs> In real life, you talk to someone's girl or mother like that, you might catch a backhand. And I think Drew just kind of reached his waypoint because this has kind of been cooking with Brent. You know what I'm saying? And then he's yelling in the car. No one can really hear him. He's popping. Man, the he police about to come. Him. You know that crap. They're looking at him like, what the hell's going on? What a man, we I stopped at a wedgie. So you can't say weekend is the. I was just going to give a wedgie. I, I know. I know. I. But everybody Brent, else is harmless, man. He is. Drew, not and I would never let you get into nothing physical. No. Nah, hell no. Go ahead. No, it won't be Go physical. Ahead, answer. Let, let answers talk. Go ahead, answer. Hey, I, a volcano was at its peak and it, it just exploded. <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. going forward, you got to be a river man and just flow. Do not let him get to you like that. Don't let him get to you all riled up and then it could affect your health and you should be calm and cool collective and you don't play, you don't play all your cards out in the open if you want to give him that psh, psh, wait till you see him in person don't yes, vocalize daddy formation. Like, meditated. Daddy formation. I'm just, meditated now I know so, the element of surprise do you just run up better than a park a lot <laughs> oh my god all right I'm gonna drop all right answer I'm gonna drop you down yes I'm a, master I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry Go ahead, go ahead, answer. Voice. Stir it. 
you could humbly replace James Earl Jones or be the substitute now that he's gone. That voice. I, I appreciate that, man. I'm going to work on it. All right. Do some yeah, gig work. I we'll hope you out. All right. Master, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to start dropping y'all down. One we got more. views sorry. now, baby. <laughs> Spencer, Thanks for hanging out with Spencer, us. Spencer, so reach out to me. Brother. Reach right. out to me. I, I, I will, Drew. Okay? I'll talk to you later, man. You guys have a great night, okay? All right. Thank Spencer, you, Spencer, good, man. man. Appreciate that. Got the KOD cast up here. This is the cast. Yep. Um, what you want to say, Lord? That makes sure our voice good. I just wanted to say that was like reason one million that we love Drew because he's just so honest and so he's so focused on respect. And I really, we all admire that about him. And so maybe he could have said it differently, but he still. One of my favorite people on this earth. So him and Reek and my two brothers. So I'm I'm love you, Drew. All love right. you too. All right. Uh, I gotta Drew shut this shut the stream down in three minutes so I can out. edit it. So all right, thank you, Laura. Uh Reekin, go ahead. I gotta shut the stream down in three minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you know, you know, um we well, we just saw what happened. I think everything's gonna be fine. I mean it was a moment. It was a moment. Let it go, Brent. You know, I'm sure Drew's <laughs> going to reach out and try to talk at some point and we squash it. You know what I'm saying? But, Drew, you know, I ride for you, bro. Obviously, you felt the type of way. He was supporting the Hitler shit earlier. I just want to say, Brent was talking crazy. And on Jewish too. descent, too. So, so I don't want to justify the crash out, but I mean, Drew kind of had enough. Some people get pushed to the point where they just had enough, bro. And this is sometimes how it happens. So, you know, like I said, if, you know, Sensei wants to ride, I'm going to ride. But Brent, just watch how you talk to people. I've said it on streams before, too, bro. Just it's how you do things, you know. Right. And Francis is off limits. I tried to warn you, bro. You don't listen. I okay, cool, warn, cool, cool. Bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, Drew, you, you got one minute. Can I, I literally have to end the stream so I can edit it. Oh, on man. Well, hey, Grandma, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, you know, about, about that situation. But Brent, he just he takes things he t he takes things too too far and i'm not gonna put hands on him everybody but you know he he needs to behave himself better he's got to have more respect for people he really does he has he has like this much respect for people and it's all about him and i i, I just i just don't like people like that okay i just i just i really 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 don't you know, um, you did a good stream. Uh, the uh, conspiracy guy. So what I got to say real quick, Frank and douche. Fake belts, no master, no records, no uh, certifications that are legit. I need to touch on this real quick. Military record. I've seen those lines with the veterans. Mm -hmm. okay. I've seen those lines and what he what Brent fails to realize is this when he goes yeah man I, I served I served in Iraq I was in Afghanistan people when they say that it doesn't matter if you're a civilian if you're a soldier you have military family everybody knows minus Brent what that means you're saying that you were in some form of military branch and he doesn't need to clear it up because he doesn't say anything behind it. So guess what? When he goes to restaurants on veterans day, guess what? People paying for his meals, people looking at him thinking that he's military. You think he's telling them no, no, he's not saying anything. And guess what? He's letting them pay for it. I was talking to answer Oh six about this. Because when I go places, people see me, they think I'm military. And people have tried to pay for my food. The waitress will tell me, somebody's just paid for your food. And I'm like, what? For what? And I've had to go over this. My brother's military. My dad was military. All seven of my uncles are military, but not me. I said, I appreciate that. But I'm just, I'm going to pay for that because I can't take that honor because I, I didn't serve. I had light asthma. They wouldn't take me. So I can't, I can't accept that honor. People do that stuff. They do walk around and, and they do that. And it's called stolen valor. And what we're saying is if Austin keeps doing this, 
stolen valor will be charges added to that time that he has for taking government money. Okay? He'll have to do some time for that, if not handled correctly. So he should find a way to explain himself so he doesn't get caught for stolen valor. Because those lines that he has... Uh, people can record that and document that and get him talking about things and how he trained in the Middle East with special forces in the SEALs and all that that he claims that he did over there. And then Stolen Valor will take that and make a court case out of it, and it will not go good for him. Those court cases are real nasty when they get out. So he does not want to do that. So Brent, open a book since you wear glasses and you read. And then take those glasses and read and understand what stolen valor is because that's where Austin's headed. And because he doesn't shut that down when he talks, he doesn't say it like I did. Hey, I'll pay for my own mill because I'm not military. He doesn't say I'm not military. He goes with whatever people tell him and he just hangs out with it and he lets it go on. He doesn't correct it. He's got to correct it. That's his problem. And so he's going to put himself in hot water. And Brent, if you want those Red Ranger autographs, I, I think you could help out your uh, your little mentor there, you know, who and Francis is 100 percent correct. If you show up to conventions, dress like you give a care, act like you give a care, because when I see him, he walks around like he's an overweight Tyrone Biggums, you know, oh God, that's Tyrone Biggums. Oh <laughs> he's God. Tyrone Biggums homeless dude holy shirts looks like he hasn't slept in days and then standing there with a bad attitude dirty clothes and then taking 150 182 thousand dollars whatever from people when he does these autograph sessions that's not right act like you give a care act like you you have something when i met ernie hudson ernie hudson came over to me shook my hand talked to me like he knew me 20 years you know, and look like a million bucks, 78 years old, jacked in shape, looking good, showing love, put his arm around you, everything. Glad to be there. <laughs> Austin's not even close to 78 and he can't even act like that. And when I was 12 again, guys, 1995 and I met him, same crappy attitude. He wasn't fat. He was still in shape back then. He was still on top of the world and all that. Right crappy attitude okay all right man i thank, never forgot that thank you drew i appreciate you're you. very very welcome and you man. went over my six hour limit so i can't edit this I'm sorry I'm dang it i'm sorry you ain't sorry you did that shit on purpose i did not this i, did I not. mean this is your channel by the way so ah <laughs> all right anywho <laughs> thanks i just had to let him know he doesn't run things okay that, i know this is your channel but i had to let him know he doesn't run things <laughs> Come so right. here, you act right. That's all I'm saying. Thank all you, right. Henry. Thank you, man. God damn, y'all.